that's a really good one. How's it going today everyone? Creek Crawler here. Southeast Ohio, I'm gonna be fishing Lake Logan today. We're going after some crappie. Brought my kayak, we're gonna be fishing some structure piles right next to the marina so I don't have a far paddle because we're supposed to get some rain and thunderstorms in a few hours. So I'm gonna go here and downs bait, grab a couple dozen minnows and I'll see you over there on the water. Thank you, bub. There you are, man. Appreciate it. One. You too. Go get em. Try to catch some crappie before the storm comes. Alrighty, well, we made it to the lake. I'm gonna put the kayak in. It's kind of drizzling right now. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. We're gonna go here, fish a structure pile along that bank. Over there, there's one like right in the middle. A lot of crappie like to hang off there in about the eight to 10 foot range. So we'll set the slip bobbers at that. Get over there, see if we can't catch some crappie today, guys. Let's go. Alrighty, got the kayak all rigged up. Got my two rods. I'm gonna be throwing a minnow and a little Bobby Garland jig on this one. Minnows are right there. Be fishing over there along that bank. Hopefully we can get into some. The rain kind of stopped. It's not terrible out. So switched over to my waterproof camera because my other one, if it gets a little bit wet, it'll get ruined. So let's paddle over there and hopefully get into some fish today. Alrighty. Kind of feel like Matt Nelson right now, talking to the camera and paddling in a scenic area. He's a legend, kayak legend. I'm not the best kayaker, but I got on a few fish last year, and this is actually my first uh, first day out on my kayak this year, so we'll see how it goes, see if we don't sink in the middle of the lake. Not a far paddle. Probably another 80 yards, and we'll post up somewhere, tie off, hopefully, get on some crappie. There's a weasel on that tree right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. We'll try to get closer. Wow. Oh, he's in the water. He's right there on the edge of this little stump. Oh man, I hope you can zoom in and see that. He's looking at me. There he is, he's running across the log there. Wow, that's awesome. Pretty sure that was a long-tailed weasel, possibly. All right, we'll do a quick little gear check. What I'll be throwing today. I got my 6.8 little creek rod here and I'll be throwing the little Bobby Garland jig on this. 16th ounce jig heads. This is the VMC Moon Eye jig head right here. And then uh, my other rod that I'll be throwing the minnows on is, uh, I don't know what this is. Was it seven foot? Seven foot medium fast action. This will be uh, on six pound monofilament. And this will be my bait rod I use, the slip bobber technique. I've taught in my videos prior. Got a little minnow hook there. Split shot about eight inches. Slip bobber. And we're gonna set it around, I wanna say like five feet. We'll work five feet and go deeper and just see uh, where these fish are holding at. Cause when you're crappie fishing, the key to crappie fishing is depth. Depth, depth, depth. These fish will hold at depths. You just gotta find what depth they're holding at. And usually you can have some pretty good luck. So we'll put a minnow on here. See if we can't get one. I like to hook my minnows right through the nose right there. We're set at about four feet and we're gonna fish off the structure pile to our right. See if there's any fish holding today. Got one already hooked up. Oh, he's pulling us. What in the world? You know what? I think we might've got something bigger than a crappie. This is literally first cast guys. He's pulling my kayak. <laughs> what in the world? Did I hook into Shamu? Jeez. Hopefully he doesn't go in this trees. Don't, please don't go in this trees. I'm at the mercy of this fish right now. I'm at the mercy of this fish right now. Wow, what in the world? What in the world are you, dude? Oh my goodness, are you serious? He's pulling me in the middle of the lake. This is not what I expected when I was crappie fishing. God, this is awkward. What in? It's a channel cat. It's a big channel cat too. Look at that. What? 
I'm getting wet today, so I don't even care. Um, okay. About two minutes with a minnow, and we got a nice 20 plus inch channel cat. All right, well, this is the first fish on the kayak this year. Oh, chill out, buddy. I got that off there. That fish out right there. <laughs> I'm gonna send you back, I'm gonna send you back. Chill. Oh, making love to me, huh? Check that out. It's a nice 20, probably 23, 24 incher. There you go, buddy. Well, that wasn't expected for the first cast with a minnow, but we'll take it. Just caught a nice channel cat. So I'm thinking we're at the right depth. We'll see what happens. All right, well, that's out there. I'm gonna pitch the Bobby Garland jig around. Oh, hooked up. Oh, my minnow's gone too. Oh, geez. We are on fast action. All right. First crappie of the day. No. Oh, we missed him. This is going to be insane today, guys. I can't believe it. Slip bobber down. Oh, this is a big one. Oh my gosh. It's a, oh. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Look at that. Check that out. That's awesome. That's a slab and a half right there. Say a nice 10 and a half, almost 11 inch. There you go, buddy. Put a little bit more weight on my uh, slip bobber. The key to slip bobber is you want to put enough weight to where that bobber sitting straight up. You don't want your bobber laying flat on the surface. You can't really indicate the smaller strikes like that. So I put some more weight. Now bobber straight up and down now. So when a fish hits it, it's going to hit it. And I'm going to be able to tell between a strike and a minnow swimming around. Oh, bobber just went. Bobber just went. Slab, another slab. Oh god, come on, buddy. Oh, probably a solid ten incher, but a slab nonetheless. Check that out. Beautiful, beautiful crappie, man. Just buried that bobber like it was nothing. I'll have to come up here and do a catch and cook one day. Yo, buddy. Guys, it is on fire today. This is insane action. Overcast skies. Fifth, was it like 60 degrees, I think? Beautiful day. The water feels great. Water clarity is good. Thought for sure the storm would have blown this, blown this lake out. And I want to go ahead and thank uh, Joel. I met on the Scioto River. He asked me when's the next time I'm doing some crappie. Today seems like the perfect day. Here we go. Watch. Oh, no. Missed him. Seems to be the perfect day. If I didn't suck. If I didn't suck, I would have caught that one. No, I met a bunch of cool guys on the side of the river. I met Ray, JR, Joel, a couple other subscribers I met on the river down in the middle of Columbus. We had a pretty fun day. I'll try to put that video together. I caught a few fish, nothing crazy, but it was right after those huge rains. All the rivers and creeks were blown out. The side of the river was pretty up pretty high. But yeah, I just met some local river guys and they're awesome. They taught me a few things while I was down there and I really appreciate it. JR taught me the old uh, swim bait on bottom technique. Reeling really slow and caught a nice little saw guy on it. Caught a couple saw guys doing that actually, but that's what fishing's all about, man. Just meeting new people and just learning the cultures of different areas, different locations. That's what makes you a better angler overall and just sharing the experience with everybody. Oh, 
because there's my bobbers. See, I can't even cast my jig out because they're hammering the minnow the whole time. Hammering the minnows. Little guy. There you go, buddy. Hooked up. Crushed. Crushed on the Bobby Garland. My nice little Bobby Garland fish there. Probably like an eight and a half incher. His eyes are huge. Look at them. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Here's the Bobby Garland color I'm using today. This is a licorice chartreuse pearl. It's got a chartreuse bottom, black back, red, and silver flakes. So far, they're hitting that pretty good. I brought another color too, just a chartreuse, but so far, they're hammering this little guy right here on the Moon Eye jig head. Pretty good along this tree here. Little profile, little minnow profile. It's crushing. Here you I'm fishing, targeting these crappie. As you can tell, there's a lot of weeds and stuff up here shallow, but the weeds stop about right here, and I'm fishing the weed line. This is probably about 10 feet of water, and I'm fishing four feet. Have my bobber set about four feet, fishing the structure. And along here to the left, I've been getting a lot of bites here too, so they're just kind of hovering around the weed lines, getting ready to come in and spawn here. I would say the spawn's probably getting really close because I've caught a couple little fat ones. Females are getting ready to come up and start laying. So, so far it's fantastic day fantastic day it's not really hot nice overcast sky cool breeze i'm tied off right here to a little branch so my kayak's kind of stationary i need to get an anchor though but so far this technique works out pretty good all right we're going to try the head mount here the gopro head mount see if that gives a cool angle While i'm out here fishing hopefully it looks okay might need to do this head mount more often but Dang, it's heavy on the bill of your hat. It's like hanging down over my face. It's probably a good perspective though. Probably should get one of those head straps, not just the little clip that goes on the end of your visor. Oh, bobber's down, bobber's down. Ah, feels like a decent one. Ooh, that's a good one. Yes! Let's freaking go! Well, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's what we came out here for. Awesome crappie. There you go, buddy. Ooh, that was a hit. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, what? How many fish am I going to lose today? Probably 100. I'll answer the question for you. Right off the side of the yak. Don't even have to cast. That feels like a good one. <gasps> That's a really good one. Oh my God. Oh, come here. Let's go. Oh my God. We just got freaking monster. <laughs> oh, it's a big crappie. Oh, goodness. Look at that crappie, guys. Oh my God. That is what we are talking about. Look at that fish. What an absolute monster. What the heck? Watch this. Watch me double up. <laughs> is this not crazy? What do you guys think that is? Let's get a measure on this monster. Twelve, almost thirteen, like twelve and three quarters. Is that a monster right there on the slip bobber, man? That's a slab. Look at the belly. She's getting ready to lay soon, so we're gonna let her go. There she goes back to the depths. What a fish! What a fish! Down. 
Oak slab. Come on, buddy. Another slab. It's a nice keeper. It's a 10 incher. everyone we pretty much crushed the crappie here at Lake Logan using the little 16th ounce Bobby Garland jig and the slip bobber with minnow about four and a half to five feet under the bobber fishing isolated structure there's some tree branches and stuff that were sticking out and they're pretty much stacked stacked they're getting ready to spawn a lot of the females are fat and kind of spitting eggs up so anytime now the crappie will be spawning. So this is the best time for bank anglers to get out here and really capitalize on this amazing resource they have here at Lake Logan. Storm's coming in, I don't wanna be out here. We got lucky, even the fish the few hours that we did today, we got pretty lucky with that because it was forecasted to be thunderstorms and rain, all that jazz, but I had a great time. We'll paddle up get closer to the marina if it doesn't rain i'll fish the marina a little bit see if we can pick up another crappie but we caught some nice size crappie today ranging from anywhere from seven inches to one that, that one that was just under 13 lost a really big one right at the yak that was probably 13 or so inches as well but successful day it's better than sitting at home on the couch like i was going to because i worked tonight but i'm just going to relax today Thought it was gonna rain and it didn't so we were blessed can't ask for a better day better couple hours than that alrighty we're going in the video right there here at Lake Logan crushed the crappie absolutely destroyed them um, slip bobbers and minnows little Bobby Garland jig it probably really doesn't matter honestly at this point because those crappie are coming in to spawn they're putting their feed bags on they're trying to get all those nutrients prepare themselves to get ready to lay eggs a bunch of the females were still fat full of eggs getting ready to lay here soon if you're a bank angler I highly suggest that you get out on your lakes because the temperature is about to be prime where those crappie are going to be coming in you can catch them from the bank really big fish awesome fish good eating fish so i i don't know what to say i had a blast a couple hours turned into an awesome trip here at lake logan i hope you enjoyed the action if you did hit the like button down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys out on the water let's go yeah.